my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you a little about my second month at WGU. So I'm going to be talking about what classes I finished, um, how fast I was able to complete them, um, if I felt they were easy, if I felt they were hard, and a couple little tips at the end that I've learned throughout this month as opposed to the tips I shared last month. So let's get into it. Before I get into like the actual like classes and stuff, I just remember something really cool that I 100% forgot to talk about in like the actual like thing because I've already recorded the whole thing but I got something in July so that's why I'm putting on this one and it is a excellency award is it excellence or excellency Hold on. excellence award um it's for exemplary work in the educational foundations task two so I thought that was really cool so apparently if you get um if they think you're tasks that you do for your performance assessments are really good if they like show like a different side to something than what they're usually used to seeing or if the um evaluator is just like i really like this and puts a really good comment on it you can get one of these and they're so cute i bent mine on accident <laughs> but they you can get it either sent to you as pdf or in the mail i had mine mailed to me because i was like <laughs> i'm framing this um but isn't that just so stinking cute it has my name on it but yeah all right i just want to show you that okay i'll get into like the actual classes here we go all right so i'm just gonna get into it if i keep looking down i have my computer in my lap so that i can tell you what i did so please ignore that if that annoys you i'm so sorry gotta do it but anyway so i finished four classes in july now i wanted to finish five but i went on vacation for like almost a week at a time two times so like the past two weeks i've hardly been home at all I had internet access, but it's kind of just hard to focus on vacation. And in my last video that I posted, um, you see that I was getting really stressed out trying to finish a class, but then I realized I needed to let myself have a vacation. So because of that, I did not finish the fifth class like I wanted to. Um, I'm hoping on finishing it tonight or tomorrow night. I have, um, it's a three part, three task, um, like passing final thing. So I'm hoping, I finished one of them because it was immersion simula simulator, which I'll be talking about in a minute. But, um, I would, I'm hopefully going to finish that tonight or tomorrow. So it should be fine. I can get the other two done really quick. But the classes that I did finish, my first one I finished was the school as a community of care. Um, if I remember that one, right, it was like pretty easy. It was just, some. um, that one was tasks. Um, and it was pretty easy. Nothing. I really can't remember anything being crazy hard on that one. Um, I think I finished that one in like two days. So pretty easy. And, um, in July, I had been um, accelerating fast um, in June so that in July, my mentor called me on one of our calls and um, I now change to like every other week I call her. I don't call her every week because I've accelerated and I passed like a certain benchmark, which is really cool. You usually don't get to do that until your second term. So it's great that I got to do it in my first term, as well as she has started adding um, one class and then about half when I tell her I'm about halfway through with that class, she'll add a new one so I don't have to wait on her to get another class. So um, that's really cool. That's what, that's part of the reason I was able to accelerate while I went on trips because if I finished some, something and I didn't want to call her, she'd just email me, hey, I saw you passed this, here's another class. And it was really cool because I didn't have to keep calling her and bothering her, she would just add it and email me that she had. Um, so anyway, so Schools Community of Care, I finished that, I started that, sorry, on, um, July 1st or 2nd, I can't remember, because I finished, um, psychology and then waited a couple days and took a little break at the beginning and then started schools of community of care on, I want to say the 2nd or something like that. And I finished it on the 5th. And then once that was done, I started American politics in the U.S. constitution because my mentor had already pulled that up for me and had it ready. So whenever I finished, um, my last class, I can start that one. So American politics in the U S constitution, that one was a exam, like a proctored exam. Um, I was actually pretty scared about that one cause it was a lot, a lot of information on this one. If you're in it right now or about to take it, I would definitely suggest listening to, um, all the videos. My course instructor was amazing. I think that's the best course instructor I've ever had. She sent me a list of every single thing that she thought would be on the final or on the exam. And then she had, um, like a lesson, not a lesson, like a weekly plan of like what I should be studying. But in it, she had links to videos of lectures that they had recorded on the cohorts and everything. Because I've actually never gone to a live cohort, which is like pretty much a live Zoom meeting, um, of them 
doing a lecture. I've never gone to those, but this one had them recorded already and she sent me the links to all those and I was able to watch all those and I, I watched them at two times speed because I, I'm able to retain it better that way if I sit there and like have to listen to them like you know especially if they're a slow speaker I kind of get you know distracted um but I listened to them at two times speed learned all that felt really good about it took the um pre-assessment did okay on it and then she also sent me a list of all of the trial cases that were in there um what I needed to know about them she sent me like some study guides it was really weird I've never had a course instructor be that like involved from the beginning so that was really cool I had never even had to contact her and ask her for something she just did it all at the beginning so that one um I was able to do let me think I started it on I think I think yeah I started that one on the fifth and I finished it on the seventh so then on the set on the eighth sorry I was able to start my next class. Oh, and I passed the final and everything on that other one. Um, but on the 8th, I believe, I started Fundamentals of Diverse Learners, which took me like two weeks. Let me see. It was the 8th through the 21st. So it took me a pretty long time. I see. So I'm, I'm going to my calendar on my phone, on my, not my phone, my laptop. So it took me from a Thursday to a Wednesday so it's been like a full week almost two weeks a day less than a week two weeks I can't even talk anyway that's one of the longest times it's taken me to complete a course and this is because of the immersion simulator that thing killed me now I do have another video that I posted going all into about that but so you can watch that if you like want more information but here's like the gist of it is my computer wasn't compatible so I set up a time, I thought my computer was compatible because it like passed all the tests and everything and I was able to download it. And then I set up a time to do the simulation and I picked a date because it, it has to be a couple days out, out. So I was like, okay, I, this is already gonna be a longer class because I have to wait to take this um, because there wasn't anything near my um, start date available. I had to wait a couple days to be able to find something available. And once I did, I logged in and it was like, oh, you have to download more stuff within the application. So I downloaded the application, thought I was good. Then I went into it the day of, realized, oh, I have to download like a course specific thing. Okay, I'll download that real quick. It didn't like my computer. I tried for like two, three hours to get it to download. Missed my simulation, had to call their tech support, couldn't figure out, had to contact my CI. She didn't know what to do. We were all like, well, gotta try again. So I was able to get my sister's computer and I had scheduled it for like a Monday and I couldn't get, I couldn't get anything else until like the Thursday, which was the, so I tried to do my simulation on the 12th, which was the Monday after, um, the Thursday that I had started and I wasn't able to find any simulation and get my sister's computer until Thursday. So the 15th, so a week after I started my course was when I was finally actually able to do the simulation so that I could do my tasks in order to pass the class so it took me a while and that's pretty much why and then I had to do a revision on something on one of my tasks came back for revision so it took even longer so that was not fun um don't suggest that because it was a wreck <laughs> but just before you get into that class make sure you have like compatible um laptop they give you all the specs and everything and I thought oh my laptop's compatible for the online test I really don't need to check that into it because it's not gonna be any different it's very different so be careful um but yeah more information on that is in my actual immersion simulator video so I will put that in the description if I remember I said that about something else a couple days ago and I didn't do it but I'll try to do it this time anyway so I will put that down below so you can check that out for more information on that but I was finally able to pass all my tasks on the 21st long time so then my next course I my um CI actually let me go ahead and start it on the 19th or 20th I believe because she saw that I had submitted tasks on the other one and was just waiting on them and she's like well you're losing time so here you can have another class so she gave me integrated physical science which was a OA and it was like the, one of the easiest classes ever <laughs> it was so easy for me I was kind of scared because everyone else was like oh it's kind of hard but it wasn't like it was kind of just basic knowledge I took the Prius I was scared again 
don't let people scare you about classes if you're in the facebook groups your education is different from someone else's education your class strengths are different from someone else's class strengths don't let them get you into the mindset of oh i'm gonna fail this class because they failed this class or don't let them get into the mindset of oh they passed this many classes within this many weeks i can pass this many classes in this many weeks because then you're gonna be you know oh i let myself down i didn't get that so just remember your experience is your experience i am really bad about being like oh if something's hard for someone else it's probably gonna be hard for me so i don't want to do it um so with this class i didn't do anything the first two days the third day i was in the class which was the 23rd um i was like you know what? i woke up and i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it i took the pre-assessment passed almost exemplary it was competent but almost exemplary um and i was like oh i know this okay i went ahead and some like figured out a time that night i think i started the class actually work on it at like 10 in the morning and i had i went ahead and scheduled my oa for 6 p.m that night no 7 p.m 7 p.m um so i spent like maybe two hours studying for that class um i just went through and there were some things that like i was getting really confused on like the unit tests and everything so i actually um did this one tip that I'm going to tell you, I have a specific tip for this class that I'm carrying through all my other classes that I will give you at the end because it's amazing. So stay tuned for that really good tip. But anyway, I was able to pass that in like three days after I stopped procrastinating and did it all in like four hours. So don't stress. It's fine. Um, and then on, let me see what class I'm in now. I'm in a class currently that I did not finish and that is managing engaging learning environments. This class I could have finished honestly in the night because I started it on last Sunday, which was, let me look at the date. I finished it on, I started on the 25th of July and on the, tw it was another one with had immersion simulator, but I was able to do that in the next day. I was able to find time. So I did that on Monday and then I did a, um, video. My last video was over this class about me trying to do it in a day and I got lazy um, and procrastinated and I still haven't finished it. So I'm currently in that one, but because I'm not finished, I can't count it as, you know, something I've finished in July. So I've only finished four classes in July, which is not the best, but I mean, what you going to do? You know, um, I wanted to complete five or six, but my next couple of classes, um, look a little bit more like I could finish them. Like I'm looking at which ones have come coming up. And I'm sure I can finish enough of them to make up for my like lost time. Um, and that's just my personal goal. You don't have to finish five a month. You don't have to finish one a week. You don't have to finish. You honestly don't even have to finish one a month. Um, you just have to finish your four, you know, minimum. Um, but I personally want to accelerate and be done with all my classes by December 31st. So in order to do that, I do need to complete a little less than one a week. It's like 0.8 a week or something like that. I don't even know. But I have like... 17 weeks left and 14 classes so it kind of you know runs out but there it is i finished four classes in five weeks which is not the best but it works um now on to some tips that i've learned in this and a lot of my tips for my last video carry over i will link that one down below it's um actually my first video that i posted in like over two years <laughs> so it has a lot of information about um my first thoughts on wgu as well as um some tips I learned but I do have a couple more tips that I learned this month so my number one big huge tip that I mentioned like for um, my science class you ready brain pop yes I said brain pop you know like when you were in like third grade and your teacher would put on the big board and you would listen to Tim and Moby talk and you're like oh they're so cool and you thought it was like an hour long video and it's only like five yeah that 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 taught me more than the textbook did not gonna lie like i was really struggling with like the rock cycle i don't know why i've known it i like i took all my science classes i know this but i was so stressed that i like totally forgot everything i looked at the rock cycle they explained it way better than the book did way better than the study guides did so i was like okay did that and i was like hmm i wonder if they've gone on plate plate tectonics they did Hmm, I wonder if they won the, the water cycle. They did. I wonder if they have one on atoms and bonding and compound elements. Guess what? They do. 
and you don't have to pay for them. You don't have to go on to brainpop.com and pay like the hundred something, because I was about to go on brainpop.com and make an account, and it's like a hundred dollars or something crazy for um, access to them. You can go on YouTube, this platform you're on right now, after you're done with this video, you can go into like the little search bar and put brain pop and then put whatever subject you're struggling in. Like it doesn't have to be like, you know, like the subject name, but like if it's math, you just put math or algebra or trigonometry. Or if you're struggling in a science class um, and say you're in biology and you're like, hmm, I can't remember how the life cycle works. Hmm, I can't remember what the muscular system is, like does. You want to go boop and it'll bring them down for you totally free. So that is my big one tip. Honestly, that's my only tip other than this one, which is stop caring as much. Well, not, not stop caring. You need to care. Stop measuring your success next to someone else's because that's just going to, you know, you need to care about you and your education and don't not care about their education, but make sure you're separating it because you're going to get really confused. But anyway, my big tip is brain pop, brain pop, brain pop, brain pop. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all the content that will be coming soon. I have a new upload schedule. I'm trying to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so that way I can have weekends off for church and all that fun stuff. So I also have a big announcement coming soon that I hopefully I'm going to be able to make. So that'll be cool. Don't forget to stay tuned. Subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.